were joined by Rutgers head coach C. Vivian Stringer, junior forward Kalia Copper, sophomore guard Tyler Scaife, and junior center Rachel Holliday. And we'll go ahead and open it to questions. Vivian, uh, obviously you know the team's capable of better than anybody, but did that second half of the second half kind of even come by surprise to you? I mean, it seemed like you guys hit a gear that you guys haven't had for a while. I think I think you probably noticed a couple things. We. We're trying to be much more focused in terms of getting the ball inside. That was one thing. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had we moved the ball, and I thought that the team did a great job of doing that. So um, the other is that we wanted the 55 to be uh, something that we can count on and that we're consistent with, and uh, we want to be able to uh, be able to play that two-three zone so that we are allowing more people to actually play. Uh, it, this is all in preparation for a, a the Big Ten conference as well as the NCA. So um, everything we were doing, uh, while being very stingy on the defensive side of things, and so uh, it doesn't surprise me. Um, we know that we were just focusing on getting those things done. Is that the most defensive pressure you guys have put on anybody this year? No. No. You I, put the most on North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the most was probably North Carolina. Now we've this is one of few a few games we we were capable of putting great pressure on a lot of people. Kalia, you were 12 for 17 from the floor. Were you just in a rhythm? What were you seeing? What were you able to take advantage of? Um, I think you said it. I just got in a rhythm, and it just felt good, and the shots fell. So. Kalia, how different is this February for you than last February? You had the, I mean, you played hurt basically the end of all last season with the toe and all that. I mean, it seems like you're actually getting stronger now as the season goes. How different is it for you to feel probably as good as you do right now? Um, it feels good. Um, my teammates are all just really um, encouraging, and everything is going smoothly, and we're all sharing the ball, so it's, everything's good. Rachel, you guys uh, had 50 points inside today. Um, it was, you know, a lot of it was you and Benadji. And uh, you seem to be able to play off of the attention she was getting. Uh, was that something you guys have concentrated on in practice, or is it just how it worked out for that? Uh, yeah, we knew we um, were, we had a high advantage in the inside, so we just took it to them. Tyler, it was 39-37, and then it was like 67-42. What happened in that 10 minutes? How did you guys, like I said, coach, find another gear? Um, our defense turned into offense for us, so Kai did a, um, a good job of attacking the rim and scoring. Um, things just started falling for us, and uh, like you said, we switched into another gear, and I guess we scored a lot of points. So. When Kali, Tyler, when Kali is playing like she's been playing the last five, six games, um, does that take you guys to another level? Definitely. We need Kaka <laughs> to do what she do. Mm -hmm. Keep playing like that, Kaka. <laughs> You guys were able to generate 30 turnovers. I mean, some of that is them knocking the ball out of bounds and stuff, but there was an awful lot of steals. Uh, was, there, was there something they were doing that was tipping you off on the floor uh, that you could be that aggressive? No, I think it was practice this week. We've been really competing against each other really hard, and I think it really converted. Like, we came out and we were just competitive. Like, we didn't want them to get the ball. We wanted to touch it. We were just having flashbacks from practice and just those situations. So I think that competitiveness starts in practice, and we have to always do that because it converts out in the games. Coach, you guys shot 62% in the second half, overall 52%. Um, you know, Lee is talking about practice and how it seemed to step up this week. Did you see a, a, a market improvement in practice overall? And, and do you think that led to that accuracy, especially in the second half? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, um, we, we, we've been counting on the practice players, the guys, you know, and that, that has been really great. But um, th we've been disappointed for some time now. And so um, what we thought we would do, I was, I was hoping to practice um, our starters against the, the guys because that would be great competition for us. But on the other hand, the guys haven't been here in such a long time that uh, we decided to split the team up and, and have more evenness. You know, like Benaja and Kai are used to playing with each other, not against each other. But they're great competitors, so Benaja is not going to give any ground, neither is Kai. Uh, likewise, Essie's not going to give any ground to Brianna because they're both extremely competitive. Likewise with, with Sharita. 
and Tara. So it made for those matchups straight, straight up. It was going to be highly competitive. Then it happens with Ariel. Uh, Ariel and Rachel, uh, th neither one of them are going to concede that the other is better, you know, at doing anything. So, you know, with that, along with um, uh, uh, Krista, uh, and then because everybody wins a good thing or everybody loses a bad thing, you know, it, it made us comp extremely competitive. And, um, and it was good. You know, they were cheering for each other, finding each other. Uh, and they knew that uh, in order to win, they had to share the ball and, and make it happen. So uh, we're just not going to worry about the guys. I'm hoping that we still can get three or four guys. But if not, we just will find ways to compete ourselves amongst ourselves. So that was unusual, splitting up the uh, various starters and putting them head to head. Like yeah, because I want them to feel, read, and see, you know, each other. Um, but uh, but it, but that's not, you know, it's not practical. Because then we don't we don't have much of a resistance from from the rest of the team, you know. But to have them compete against each other, they're wolfing, and they're you know really really very concerned about everything, turnovers, um, you know, pass because it'll be small things. It'll be like if uh, a defensive player just touches the ball, you know, because um, and then that means that if they touched it. They, the defense gets credit. Well, that's forcing the offensive people to work much harder in going through the ball, which is one of the things that we've been having problems with. We've been turning the ball over. We've been too loose with it. Um, so we were trying to come up with rules that would allow us to, to instill the things that we need. Questions? Anybody from the sports journalism class? Okay. Hey, Coach, uh, one that stood out early on was uh, Benaja's technical foul. Um, we're so used to seeing her play 39, 40 minutes a game. How did that change your game plan moving forward with this rotation? Well, um, Actually, when it happened, I was told that it happened. I, I really didn't see it because I was turning to talk to someone, so I didn't see what had happened. But now just pretty competitive. But I do do know that I generally would take a player out when they get a technical for whatever reason. Um, but Kalia can also go into the four spot. I mean, it, you just don't see that much. Uh, Essie happened to have been on the floor, I think, at the time. But Essie is playing one through four. So that would have happened, and that's what can happen. Um, but in this case, um, Kali has been playing uh, the big guard as well. So it was, it was no big thing. Um, it was no big thing. Um, Questions? Um, for Kyle? So you were four points away from like a new career high. Do you feel that you and your team's defense led to you being able to score uh, as much as you did tonight? Uh, yeah, I think we had a lot of um, – I had scored a lot of points in transition, and I think Brianna did a really great job of kicking the ball up, and I think Tyler did a great job of just advancing the ball. So if we just keep running on people, I think that I can get easy buckets like that. Questions? Yes. Um, so, okay. Uh, so what was the thought process going to a – moving to a full-court press so early into the game? Well, we want to put them away, psychologically put them away. Uh, because, you, you know, like with anything, you keep letting people hang around. Then they think that they're, they really can do these things, and that's, that can be a problem. Uh, we won that game before by about 10 points. We need to demonstrate that we are, and we have gotten better from the last time that we played them. So, um, you know, like I said, there were, there were objectives. It was we needed to see the open offense, which is one of our offenses. We needed to see the ball go to the inside, which is also a focus for us. And um, a Scarlet, which is another, another focus. Uh, and that, that 55 press. Um, we even took, uh, for some time, Ariel Butts has not been on the front of that press. But at some point, we were putting her. In the on the front in, on the front of the press, so um, we've got three games as we look at it, two more games that are home, so um, pretty soon everything that we do is going to be do or die, you know it's the wrong thing, dag. It's, we can't do it in, and we just lost the game and you go home, so we're trying to make sure that we establish certain things. For me, that's all I'm looking at. I'm looking at rotations, how well they come in, uh, how much do they know. Um, that, for example, when a player even comes off the floor. 
I want them as much as possible to tell us, dang, I knew I should have called, I should have showed high, because that tells us that they knew, and not, not that we, we're not going to make mistakes, because we're going to make plenty of them. But, um, but for them to come off and tell us, you know, this is what they should have done, that tells me that they're in tune with what the game plan is, and, and that's perfect, you're, you're good. And, and several times uh, players came off and they knew why, why something happened, and, and that's good for us. We have time for two more questions. Charlie, the trench coat. Um, Purdue, uh, Purdue came out in the second half and drew uh, 5,000 in the first four minutes. Can you just speak a little bit about their physicality and what it takes to hold off that kind of offensive onslaught? Do you want me to speak to it or you want the players? You could, uh, coach. They drew five fouls in four minutes, right? We got a, and we didn't even shoot a foul shot. I think into the the first half, amazing, isn't it? Uh, well, they they were playing the zone, and um, the only way we we're gonna get the the hits to the inside is uh, either dribble, penetrate, attack, or the inside people have just got to go ahead and take it to them. Um, keep in mind that Purdue's strength is their position three, four, and five. Those are all inside players. Those are 17 feet and in. So they're going to post up. They're working primarily at the elbow, um, and so they're going to take drives. You know, um, and so we tended to be just a little, just just not as sharp as as we needed to be. Um, if you think about our, t if you if you were to ask someone, well, what, what is record strengths, and they would probably say the guards. Their guards are quick, the guards are fluid, the guards are this. And so with them, we would say their strength is in their insides, three, four, and five. So it makes sense that they would go inside. Um, and we were, I wouldn't agree with all the fouls, but long story short, it is, uh, that, that's always a concern for us. We have time for one more question. I can answer that. <laughs> okay, um, in that timeout, it's, um, <clears throat> Coach just talked about us picking up the defensive pressure, and it's more than just this game. We're thinking about, like she said, we're thinking ahead in like Big Ten and NCAA, so we just wanted to demonstrate that we have gotten better since the last time we played them, so we just picked it up and we just turned it on. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the day, ladies.